ماشيين واحنا الايد في الايد جوانا قرار كل نهار نبدا حلم Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. Just watching the breakfast show live on Nile TV International. It's now time for a second topic of discussion uh, for today, and we're going to be shedding the light on the campaigns uh, which are led by the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, aiming to raise awareness at the Egyptian society regarding the monuments and historic sites. And to shed more light on this topic, we're most delighted to be joined over the phone by Mr. Said Ali Toha, tourism expert. A very good morning, Mr. Said, and thank you so much for joining us on the breakfast show. Good morning. Uh, Mr. Said, first of all, if you can tell us uh, about your opinion and how do you see the uh, awareness campaigns uh, launched by the Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities? It is very, very important and very almost essential uh, to create a new generation aware about the uh, importance of the antiquities and about the uh, ancient culture and uh, uh, we need to create uh, an environment um, to find a kind of relation between the people and the elders. I mean, uh, we need to for. So they can get an eye about how important uh, the historical site and take what is the uh, historical site in uh, general. Uh, Mr. Sayed, as an expert, uh, in your opinion, which is the best way to raise the awareness of the ordinary citizens regarding the Egyptian monuments and historic sites, of course, in addition to uh, uh, working on uh, developing awareness campaigns, uh, public service announcements, and so on and so forth? Yeah. Uh, more than that, uh, 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 as I told you, we need uh, to uh, create a kind of relation, as I, as I said, and the media is very, very important, especially nowadays uh, the uh, social media it became uh, an essential factor in awareness. Uh, not only the classic media uh, through uh, TV or uh, through uh, newspapers uh, or whatever of this uh, classic uh, uh, means of media. Uh, Social media has become very, very important and very essential and can create a kind of awareness uh, to this. Uh, also, we need to uh, create uh, this, uh, you know, environment for the people then, so they can uh, take care of those antiquities around their suburbs or their uh, uh, antiquities as well. Uh, it's very important, uh, this uh, point. Uh, when you create a kind of, uh, you know, work, uh, I mean, artisans or artifacts or the, uh, or the, uh, uh, you know, that important thing, so they can uh, relate between uh, the people and uh, the historical site itself. So that will help them uh, and they, them, you know, uh, like we can win situation. I, uh, I live around the antiquities. I can find an artisan shop or whatever, and then I can make use of my life. At the same time, I will uh, uh, protect this place because it became not only a historical site, it became as a means of life for me. And also, uh, those people who are uh, uh, surrounding the area, for example, I give you an example, the pyramid area, uh, where am I now? I'm, I'm talking to you from there. 
I need, I wanted to, when I have a group or whatever, so I told them, take care of that and so on, and that and so on, and that. Because there are some people touching the uh, historical site and they don't, don't understand exactly the, the, what is the meaning of that site and how important is this site and how uh, we can get benefit uh, from this site without, uh, you know, bothering the uh, people around. So we need to uh, do our best efforts uh, to, uh, uh, in this field of awareness, in this field uh, 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 to protect our antiquities, and to uh, create a kind of, uh, you know, uh, new system or new attitude, that, because it's, this comes from what we call it personal attitude. And this personal attitude comes from the family, from the school, uh, from the people themselves. So we need to know uh, that things is very important historically um, uh, and uh, art, uh, pictures, everything. Yes, uh, speaking about uh, historic sites, uh, Mr. Said, uh, what do you think are the most important monuments uh, that should be, we begin with uh, shedding the light on and why? Of course, pyramids area. Pyramids area, it needs a lot of awareness. Uh, for example, now, uh, as I told you, I'm talking from there, and uh, sir, around us there are some school trips and the professors with the uh, children. Some of, the, uh, of these children have been climbing uh, on the pyramid, and this is forbidden. We are not, not allowed to climb uh, the pyramid. They didn't climb that far, that far away, but uh, at least you need to tell them you need to protect this antiquity. Uh, of course, the new generation children didn't know exactly what is the meaning for them. It's a kind of student and ever because this is the myth of uh, education and the myth of uh, uh, instruction of those people who are leading them during the trip. You need to tell them how important this is and how um, uh, important to protect it and how important to respect it and treat it in a, 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 a suitable way, not uh, touching or climbing or whatever. So uh, it's very, very important we start with the pyramid area and then uh, those places are abandoned from the city and from the cities, uh, its uh, villages, I mean, it's uh, uh, protected naturally. For example, a site like Sakara, it's very well preserved because it's abandoned uh, from the uh, cities and the villages. But as the uh, pyramid area touching the city, it seems like inside, uh, surrounded by buildings and, uh, uh, you know, uh, houses and uh, shops around, so it needs more effort and more awareness. And uh, uh, now uh, the project is going on. There is a new project. Uh, they are going to organize all the area, and that will uh, be with the inauguration of the new museum, uh, the gym. And I think with this, we started. We start to protect the area, and we start to uh, create a uh, suitable environment uh, for uh, the uh, pyramid area and to protect it. Uh, imagine yourself there and the camels around you, horses and chariots dragged by horses, and uh, some people they didn't understand exactly the meaning of where they are and the importance of the place where they are. So from time to time, we need to create a new of, um, a kind of uh, courses or, uh, you know, uh, small instructions to those people who are selling things in the pyramid area and uh, uh, doing uh, riding camels or whatever around uh, uh, to tell them what is the importance of it because the means of life here in this area. So they need to protect it and they need to respect it uh, in a, a certain way or in a way uh, that uh, can keep this for the new generation because with that going on, I think uh, that will be difficult to last more time as we lasted for centuries and centuries up till now. So we need to uh, uh, protect them and to uh, find this awareness uh, to uh, the new generation so they can uh, uh, take care of these antiquities and these uh, monuments. 
Uh, Mr. Said, what about uh, raising awareness also about when it comes to the ancient Egyptian civilization? Uh, the ancient Egyptian civilization, it's one of the uh, uh, unique civilizations that you can follow the history since uh, about at least 3200 years BCE. Imagine king by king and leader by leader and uh, uh, governor by governor. And we know a lot of details about this um, uh, ancient Egyptian civilization. Uh, even uh, from uh, the Stone Ages and uh, before the First Dynasty, I, we have uh, uh, some historical sites known from that time. And now the uh, historians and the archaeologists are talking about Dynasty Zero and Dynasty Two Zeros before the First Dynasty. And it seems uh, uh, it's a unique uh, civilization that you can follow. Uh, the chron like a kind of chronology of the history of the sequence of dating from uh, at least uh, uh, 3000 uh, BC. And we have a lot of artifacts and a lot of production of this civilization. So it's not only talking about kings and leaders. You can know about some uh, uh, ordinary people by, the, by their names and by what they did in, uh, and they added to this uh, culture and this civilization. We knew about uh, uh, doctors and we knew about architects and uh, scribes, uh, governors, uh, priests hold uh, uh, not only men and ladies as well. From the beginning of the Second Dynasty, we knew about some ladies who participate in the social life and in the commercial uh, work as well. Some of them have been leading uh, uh, commercial uh, trips between Egypt and uh, Lebanon and to uh, the further from the south of Egypt uh, up to the sixth, uh, the sixth uh, cataract of the uh, cataract of the River Nile, uh, and there was a kind of uh, importation and exportation between Egypt and those uh, countries. So it's not only talking about uh, you know kings and queens and the, the high dignitaries and everything, every detail we know about uh, the ancient Egyptian culture. We have some papyrus talking about, you know, mathematics. We have some papyrus talking about medicine. We have uh, some of them talking about the social life. Even we have uh, letters. I mean, social letters. One uh, a man sent a letter to his son, and uh, he was on a trip and uh, telling him, take care of my wife and your uh, mother and uh, your uh, other young brothers and uh, take care of my uh, uh, big animal. Uh, imagine he had a big animal, a dog, and he's telling his eldest son taking, uh, to take care of everything. Even he didn't forget to mention his uh, big animal, uh, the dog. Uh, so those details are giving you an idea how was advanced and very civilized this uh, uh, culture or this civilization of the ancient Egyptian uh, people. They were ordinary people look, living like us. And, uh, uh, we uh, indeed, uh, Mr. Said Ali Toha, uh, we uh, have to end it there. But thank you so much for your insightful uh, conversation that we had here and looking forward uh, to uh, shed more light on this uh, very important uh, aspect. And dear viewers, by this, we wrap up today's uh, episode of The Breakfast Show. You're in the company of myself and my colleague, Dina Hussain. Until we meet again, this is goodbye.